but this is the holy grail of of, uh, of Jaguars. Just and uh, you know al aluminium. Not there. There are replicas like this, but they're fiberglass. But this is the original body with the original riveting. I mean, oh, it hurts just to look at it. This is the, this is the holy grail for me. That I mean, it's just. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Bet you wouldn't part with that, eh? Is that your pride and joy? That's mine, yeah. yeah. No, this one is. But, um, I mean, that is just. Look at that. That's a machine, I have. And have you, has it got the C type head on it and everything? Yeah. Look at that. This was the forerunner of the. Uh, basically, the E type. How the E type was developed. Uh, and you can see it, can't you? You can see the, you can see the genes in it, can't you? The, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know that, how how it how it started. And they had another one. They they made about twenty two cars, I think. They wanted to make some road cars, and they were called XKSSs. And then now a company's making them as well as a, as a replica. But I think it was only something like twenty two. I think Steve McQueen had one, and then yeah. quite and all the big stars, I think, uh, uh, had them. Um, and. Uh, but the actual race, the ones with the fins on, I don't know how many was it, six, five cars, six cars? I don't know. In total, I think, ever made. Yeah. And they were all race cars, none of them were uh, um, road cars, they were only race with a fin, with this fin on the back. The, the, the XKSS had, what did it have? It didn't have any, it had a lump on the back, but it didn't have the fin, did it? Didn't have the race fin. No, it had the headrest. It had the headrest coming down, I think, or something. Um, but no, it didn't have the racing fin. Nothing for the passenger. Because this was made for the Mulsanne straight, That's apparently. Right. Nothing for the passenger on the, yeah. on the race car. Because, of course, they didn't have them. No. This made my trip, this. <laughs> just. <laughs> I could wax lyrical about that all day long. It's just, just a beautiful car. So, uh, I started to take this apart, I didn't realise just how many screws I'd put in it when I made it, when I made the body. Um, not got them all out yet, and I think we're up around the 200 mark. It's unbelievable, I didn't realise uh, how well made it was. Uh, yeah, basically what I'm trying to do is just leave the base in it and take the, the outside of the, the thing off, so I've got all the lights off. And, most of the screws you can see how I have to dig out all the uh, wood filler and there's a couple along here that need doing and then along the back and you can see here I've already undone the ones on this side and I'm hoping that the whole frame will lift off Come out. and I've got a message uh, from a viewer who's asking me about this hole here now all the XK 150s have them, the fixed head, the drop heads, and the, the roasters like this one. But for the life of me, I can't see what it's for. Um, I'm pretty sure this is some kind of grommet that comes through here, electric. But what this is, there's a round um, captag on it. Now I re I built this piece, I made this piece, and then reproduced the hole in the same place. I didn't know what it was for. I just knew it was there, so I reproduced it. But there is a, a like a a lid that goes on it which has been specially made for it and relative to the relative to the chassis I was looking at the chassis because I said this chap asked me what it's about so relatively uh, the driver this is the driver side here so relatively it would be round about here somewhere the hole and what it's for I do not know so does anybody out there knows why the holes were put in and there must have been in for a reason for the life of me I can't see why they're there. There's nothing you would want to get to. So we got the body off after a massive struggle, but it did come off. Um, I'd forgotten just how much glue I'd put on it. Um, so I'll keep, the, I'll keep the carcass anyway. But yeah, I put such a lot of glue in it. Um, and I don't, you know, it's, 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 it was, it's quite some years ago I did it. And I just didn't realize how many screws and how much glue I'd use. Man, even with all the screws out, it would not come apart. I need to wrench it out. So there you go, that's how it's gonna look. So the idea now is that the 
uh, where you see the frames uh, on the bottom, we will attach them with nuts and bolts to that base plate and that will make it even stronger because the, the metal's underneath it. The wheels will be much higher up into the arches. It's only because we've got them on these blocks and they're off the ground at the moment. So there's still quite a bit to come down there. So I'll get them set up tomorrow. Um, and what it will mean is I'll have to, the, the depth is 12 on the outside, but I'll have to cut this different, this difference of this off the inside. In fact, what I'll do is I'll make that a returned edge on the inside there and we'll I'll get a couple of pieces of angle iron and bolt it and, and hold it with vice grips either end and we'll just bend it so we'll bend it up inside so that when it comes inside the car it comes down and then inside and we'll just screw it screw it down um, obviously the back end and now has to be shortened but there's no problem there's nothing in here we need to worry about so we'll just cut the back end off um, because the batteries can actually go in the middle even or we can put the batteries side on, that's in there, they're very tiny batteries uh, there's all the lights and parts and uh, yeah that's just some of the screws, there's quite a few left underneath it a massive amount in there and you can see where I glued it um, you can see, the, so I'll have to clean all that wood up and everything so as you can see it's coming on, the sides are on now, everything's built onto the base of it. I'm just making the upright for the windscreen. And uh, I have, I'm gonna find it, there it is. I have a windscreen from, this is from the Toylander. So what I'll do is I'll just cut it down. Uh, it's exactly the right, strangely enough, exactly the right, perfect. But uh, the muck was in a little bit, so. Obviously tomorrow the next thing I have to do is build a triangle down here um, and then this windscreen will flip onto the top of it. Let me, let me take this off so I can show you. And then this windscreen will go on there like that. But it will flip forward so that when we're transporting it and I'll have to put something in the middle, a screw in the middle to hold it. I won't make this round, it's a little bit of aluminium, but all I'll do is I'll cut it down, you can see it's too, too, too long. Um, all this comes off. I'll take it off. And you can see I've done it inside, so it's got a return, it's got a lip on it there. And you can see how it's bolted. see how it's bolted to the base plate it's bolted straight through here so that this bar is actually running it so yeah obviously this will all need uh, painting up before we put it on the bolts will be cut off of course uh, but it's you know it's pretty strong it seems to run pretty good um, and I would actually say it's probably I, I don't know exactly but I would think when it's all finished up it would either be the same or possibly a little bit less than the wood was, which seems strange, I know. But it was very, very heavy uh, ply that. Um, I don't remember a real way of checking it now. Um, but it's just a little single seater. All the steering mechanisms the same as the Toylander was. And uh, yeah, I mean, as I said, it fits. It fits you know, really nice, no problems with it. You see, this is why I've, why I've made this like this because obviously I want to do the inside of the box um, so that it doesn't rust and then it basically slips back on let's have a look when it's done and then I'll make the bonnet in one piece obviously on a, on a real mini moke um, there's a, a 90 degree lip sticking up here and then the bonnet half the bonnet but we don't need to do that I'll just make it one piece of aluminium. The angles are not quite right at the moment on the front, but I didn't want to go cutting the headlights out and where the indicators go uh, until, um, oh, I didn't want to cut any more out. I'll do too much work to it until I knew it was going to fit. While I've been working on this uh, mini, mini muck, uh, I mean, it's been working on the, the XK. Uh, you can see everything's looking quite nice now shapes and he's been putting a lot of work into these doors and uh, 
and as smooth as a baby's bum there, but they've got, still got a lot of work to do to them. And then we'll get them in a, a nice white primer and then hopefully all the door edges will be good. So hopefully from the back to the front of the door, it'll be in good shape. As I said, we've got to take this corking out that's rubbish in here. We'll just have to pull it all out and put the gray corking in, it's better. Um, different product number. And then we can basically start going to the front and working on all the stuff at the front. A lot of work here, as so you can see where I've cut the inner wing out. Because this car was an SE and it will be turning into an S specification car. So there's a special um, uh, inner wing on the S's because they had a um, triple carburetors and uh, the special airbox goes in there. So there we are, that's what we've been up to today. So on that note, I'll let say uh, my usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby 